This is a quick demonstration of how simple and easy it is to get uh, Viper from EMC up and running. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to simply import the um, uh, vApp for the Viper controller. The Viper controller is a software-defined storage abstractor of EMC and non-EMC storage where you can uh, simply and easily automate all sorts of storage tasks uh, for block, for NAS, for object. Uh, installing it is ridiculously easy because it is a vApp. What you can see here is that I'm just uh, importing the virtual appliance, giving it a name. Uh, I'm going to have to go through and uh, do various little small pieces of configuration deciding uh, what uh, uh, data center infrastructure from uh, vSphere I'm going to install it on. In this case, it's a, a UCS powered cluster. Uh, how I'm going to actually provision the underlying storage that is just going to host this uh, particular controller and then uh, a network to connect it to. It's pretty well that simple. Um, and uh, within minutes, you're up and running with your brand new Viper controller. The Viper controller is really interesting, very cool, designed from the ground up to operate at small scale. Here it's just a single standalone uh, VM, but also uh, to be able to operate at cloud scale with distributed metadata, distributed tasks, and you can have a whole grouping of these uh, Viper controllers if you were to have, for example, an extremely large or extremely heterogeneous environment. Uh, so here we're just completing the configuration. Uh, basic uh, networking information. You, you'll notice that there's some stuff where you could use input uh, load balancers or web storage nodes. I'm going to um, get to more of this in a moment. Um, these are examples of things that could be delivered via Viper data services nodes, which we'll uh, talk about shortly. And um, that's pretty well as uh, complex as it gets. It's extremely simple. Now I've just time warped forward a little bit just because who wants to watch a virtual storage appliance import after just a couple of minutes it's uh, deployed and we uh, have said to bring it up when it's uh, uh, complete and basically our controller is now up and running. Uh, it doesn't get any simpler than that um, for our capability which is actually pretty cool and uh, pretty uh, compelling. Now let's talk about the other component of uh, EMC Viper which is a, a data services node, or in this case, a, a web storage node. Uh, Viper can be a platform for all sorts of data services, potentially even those um, that might be delivered by non-EMC folk. Um, so in this case, this is a data service that's part of uh, Viper's 1.0 target, uh, which is a web object storage, storage that complies with all of the various um, uh, web object storage models, whether it's Amazon S3, OpenStack Swift and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in to uh, the Viper controller now that everything is up and running um, and start some just very basic configuration so you can see how this thing works. Now that I'm logged into the Viper controller you can see you could use it to provision and manage all types of storage for all sorts of different host types um, and it can operate in this way obviously I'm logged into the UI here but the primary way that we expect people to interact with this is mostly via the APIs. Everything that you see in the UI has a, a capability to be done programmatically via the APIs, which is really what software-defined abstraction of uh, networking and, and of storage uh, truly can make uh, so transformational. Thanks, and hope you think this is as cool and as simple as I do.